let us have a look at Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And there is actually a Latin version of this already, and a classical Greek version of this. Uh, so Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, if we attempt to translate this into Latin, it would be Henricus Carameus et Lapis Pilosapi Auctora J.K. Rowling. Uh, and this means Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, we have Henricus, which I think Harry is a short form of Henry. And we have uh, Karameus, which comes from the Greek word Karameus, which means potter. And that is where we get words like ceramics. Uh, we have lapis. We get words like dilapidated. You know, a house is dilapidated if the stones are falling down. Okay. And so here we have the magical world of Harry Potter. Mundus Magicus Henrici Caramei. And here we have the crest of Ho Hogwarts. Draco Dormiens Nunquam Titalandus. That means a sleeping dragon must never be tickled. Uh, Draco, we get words like draconian. Uh, dormiens, that means sleeping. We get words like uh, dormition and stuff like that. Uh, Titalandus, uh, we get words such as titillate and titillating. And that's in the gerundiv, which means it's something that must be done or ought to be done or something that is necessary to be done. So we have never, you know, so a sleeping dragon must never be tickled. And so I just did it out there rhythmically. Draco dormiens nunquam ti talandus. I find it easier to pronounce when I spell it out that way. And here we have the dedicatory page. The Pagana Dedicationum, the page of dedications. Uh, and in English it's for Jessica who loves stories, for Anne who loved them too. And for Dai, who heard this one first. And if we translate this into Latin, it is Hic liber est de decatus Jessicae quae fabulos amat et annae quae quaqua illos amat et di wanae quae primo Audi wit hank fabulum. Uh, uh, yeah, diwanae, that, that's Diana in Latin. Uh, we get words like diva. Diva means goddess. So uh, Diana means, you know, Diana is a goddess, but her name also means goddess. Uh, fabulous, get words like fabulous, fable, uh, quaqua, we get the two quaqua fallacy in logic, uh, which means the you, you also, uh, if somebody calls you a crook and you say, well, you are, you are a crook also, uh, that's the two quaqua fallacy. It, you know, it doesn't make you any less of a crook to say something like that. Uh, primo is a Latin adverb that means first. Uh, in the British crown, 
it used to be primo genitor, uh, which is Latin for firstborn. Uh, the firstborn male son, it used to be he would be king even if he had elder sisters, but that was got rid of recently. And this is the last bit for now. Chapter 1, Capitulum Primum. Uh, and the boy who lived in Latin is Puer Qui Weeks. So, okay, bye bye.